Hi, it's Bridget here from Silverfit. I'm one of the Pilates instructors. And today we're going to do um, a, a classic set. So classic Pilates today, um, half an hour, suitable for everybody. And I will give you some modifications. So uh, we'll have progressions if you want to work a little bit harder or modifications if you need to kind of scale back a little bit. Okay, so um, if you've got a block or something to put your uh, hips on, it might feel quite nice if you've got tight backs of legs. I like to use a block because I'm quite tight in my hips. So we're going to start off with a, an exercise called sweeps and we're sitting like so. Now, uh, if you are tight in the backs of your legs and you haven't got something to raise your seat, you might want to bend your knees or a bit of a combination of both, okay? So to start off with, we're just gonna sweep our hands down towards our feet and then reach up and then repeat. Exhale as you're sweeping down, inhale as you reach up and then repeat. And as you're sweeping down, keep those abdominals working and then we reach up and then we're going to go the other way. So we're taking a big dive up and over, nice ripple through the spine. Throw your arms back a little bit, up and over and repeat. And then repeat. And then on this one, we're just gonna hold it just for a, just for a second or two, just for a stretch. Okay, and if that feels a bit too strong, some people can catch their feet. Other people are going to be, you know, somewhere else, maybe even be on the feet. Nice stretch for the spine here. And then roll it up. Give the legs a shake. Make this with your hands and give yourself a little pummel around the outsides and the tops of the thighs. It's quite a good cheats way just to get your circulation going. Little taps on the inner thighs. Little taps. Okay, and then we're coming into a different sitting position. So I'll just turn to face the camera here. So we've got quite wide legs here and we're just going to windscreen wiper the legs from side to side. So we're getting an internal and an external rotation of the hips. Okay, and now just rotate them over so they're to your left. And I'm just going to get rid of my block here now because I don't need it anymore. So we're going to rotate towards the knee and you're just going to walk your fingers down. And then we're going to walk them back again. OK, and you want to get this sort of action where you're not collapsing. So we want to avoid that. And then you're sort of like using loads of effort to come back again. So we want to get this floating action, stay nice and light. And everybody will be working at a slightly different range depending on their flexibility and strength, etc. Okay, and when you come back, start it off here. Use your core first, initiate it from your core. Okay, and then you're going to rotate and face the front. If this position isn't good for you, find another position. Yeah, you might have that, uh, you might have that, or you might have something completely different. Just find something that works for you. And then you're going to walk your fingertips forwards. And as before, engage your core, walk the hands back. And we'll do that a couple more times. Lots of stretching here. So um, if it's quite early in the morning and you're still sort of a little bit tight, make sure that you're not overdoing it. We're, we're different depending on the time of day and what we've been doing. So we'll just the legs go over to the other side and we're doing the other side. So first of all, we're rotating. So we want this nice spiral through our spine. We don't want to wrench. So nice spiral through the spine and then you're walking your hands off at an angle. Try not to collapse, okay? Keep some energy in the movement, some activation. And we'll do two more. Really, there's no weight on the hands. We should be able to kind of just go down and come up unassisted okay and then we're here and now we're facing the front and we're walking the hands straight forwards straight ahead and you might very well notice that you had a much bigger or smaller range of motion on the other side okay so just try not to um, 
you know, if you had a massive range of motion on the other side, try not to match it if this side is a lot tighter because you could end up with, with an injury. So we want to just work each side, each body part, according to its own merits. Not what, it, not what the other side could do or what you could do last week. It's what you're feeling now and let your body kind of dictate how far you go with it. Okay, so lean back, shake out the legs, little swivel around so we're this way on the mat. And we're going to dig our feet in and you can dig your heels in. So if the feet don't do this, you can dig your heels in and you can kind of create this break effect. So if you dig your heels in and you're kind of pulling them back towards you without physically moving them, uh, you'll have some um, a bit of extra power to get yourself down on the floor nice and smoothly. And then take a full body stretch. And then circle the arms around, nice big circle. That felt really nice. Let's do that again. Stretch, nice big circle. And your arms are down by your side. Now you can pop your head on a cushion or on a block if you like for this next exercise. And we're going to bend the knees, <coughs> sorry, and then we're going to bring one leg up and then the other leg up. And we're toe tapping. Now we, we start off with the 90 degree angle behind the knee and as, and just a shorter, just a bit smaller than a 90 degree angle at the hips. Okay, in the olden days we'd be 90 degrees, but these days we tuck in a little bit, takes the load off the hip flexors. And we're going to toe tap and heel dig and then bring the leg back. Toe tap, heel dig, bring the leg back. So inhale, toe tap, heel dig, exhale, bring the leg back. Inhale, toe tap, heel dig, exhale, bring the leg back. And be mindful what's happening to your lower back. We want the spine imprinted, maybe a light imprint, maybe a deeper imprint. Toe tap, heel dig, bring the leg back. Toe tap, heel dig, bring the leg back. Lovely. And then just tuck your knees into your chest, have a rock from side to side, or if you want to, uh, forwards and backwards. Okay, be careful of this. It's not everyone's spine likes this, so just be mindful. Okay, and then we're all meeting here again, and we're going to roll down again. So we'll reach up with the arms, big dive over, rolling down, vertebra, a by vertebra, a by vertebra. You can use your hands on your thighs. It's quite nice. A little bit of a support for the movement there. Okay, and now we're back to here again. So, knees are bent, feet flat on the floor, and then we're going to lift the right leg and we're going to imprint the spine. And with a pointed foot, we're going to do bicycles. We're going to do three bicycles for three. Use those abdominals for two. And for one. Okay, and now we're going to flex the foot and we're going to do three bicycles. Three, two, and keep using these abdominals the whole time, and one. Give yourself a little squeeze, legs up in the air, the foot's pointed again. We're still on the same side. We're going to pedal in the other direction. So we are going for three, two, you can put your head on a pillow if you want to. And one. Now flex the foot for three. For two. And one. Good. And you can just squeeze up a little squeeze, maybe a little squeeze like that, maybe a little squeeze like that. Straighten the leg, shake it off, give your hip flexors a little bit of a rub if they need it, and then we'll swap sides. So your left leg is up in the air. We've got a pointed foot and we're going to bicycle, bicycle action. One, use those abdominals. Two, Keep checking in with your neck. We don't want it tipping back. And one. OK. 
Okay, and now we're flexing the foot for one. And you can maybe get those glutes working as well as you come into the down face of the movement for two. And one. Okay, legs up in the air, we're pointing the foot again, and now we're going to go in reverse. One. It's a nice engagement of the abdominals there, it feels really nice. Two. And one. And now we flex the foot. Your circle size might be different to mine, okay? So keep checking in, see how the body is responding. We don't want to overdo it, but we don't want to underdo it either. So just work, use the available space. Two. And this is the last. There we go, good. Give yourself a little hug, little squeeze. Maybe shake the leg out, maybe straighten the leg out. Give you a hip flexor a rub. Okay, and then we'll tuck the knees into the chest. We'll rock from side to side. And then place your feet on the floor and you're going to extend your right leg and your left arm. And have a nice stretch here. So we're going cross lateral with the stretch. And then bring that leg back and we'll swap it over. Right arm, left leg this time. Nice cross lateral stretch and then we swap it over again. So we've got our left arm and our right leg and either just have a stretch or if you want to press yourself up into the bridge position, we get a good hip flexor stretch here. Bum muscles are on. We don't want to be clenching the bum, but we want to have this engagement. Okay, and then coming back, swapping it over, either stretch it or press yourself up. We're really zipping up here. So you feel like you've got a lot of um, internal work going on. We're not just clenching all the external muscles. And then we come back. Lovely. Tuck your knees in and either roll onto your side and maneuver yourself onto your hands and knees. Or if you want to, rolling like a ball and coming onto hands and knees. So from our hands and knees, right here, okay, and we'll just, um, we'll just hover forwards and backwards a few times just to kind of get our wrists warmed up a little bit. And you can change if you want to and keep your hands here or you can kind of experiment with a few different hand positions. Okay, uh, one of the ones that I quite like doing and some people find it a little bit icky is this. So with our sort of computer muscles, our forearms can get very, very tight. We don't sort of really realise it until we do something like this. Okay, and then do the other side. Now, but be gentle with your wrists, okay? Be gentle. And then we'll sit in child's pose. Give a good old stretch here, coming onto the tips of your fingers. Nice stretch around the armpits. And then we're floating up onto our hands and knees. And we want to have our wrists underneath our shoulders. And we want to have our hips, uh, our knees underneath our hips, and we're lengthening the right leg. And you're going to lift it and lower it. And we're going to lift it with a point, and we're going to lower with a flex. And lift with a point and lower with a flex. And we'll do two more, and that will make it five. Lift with a point. Now flex the foot and hold it, and we'll do some little pulses. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. And release. Come back into child's pose. And then onto your hands and knees again. Extending the other leg. Okay, and we want to be nice and strong. I've got a buggy top on so you can't really see, but we want to have our abdominals working here. Okay, so we're not, I'll take this off actually so you can see a little bit better. Warming up. Okay, so when we're in this position, we don't want to be all slouched and collapsed. You want to be strong, nice and strong. So we lift with a point, lower with a flex, lift with a point, lower with a flex, lift with a point, lower with a flex. Two more. 
using the core the whole time and the glutes will hold it here on the fifth one flex that foot and pulse and the foot flexion should really activate your glute muscles here the muscles in the bum five four three two one and release good come back into your child's pose and this time we'll have wide knees and um, feet together nice and relaxing lovely stretch here And whilst you're in this position, really take the time to inhale deep into the ribs, deep into the lungs, expansion of the bottom of the rib cage. And then we'll float forwards. Have your hands quite wide here, about as wide as the mat. And you can either do this from this position, hands and knees, or if you're feeling strong, you can come into a plank and we'll take a little ripple through and we're landing in this in this position so we're in a prone position <clears throat> and we want to have our hands level with our chest and we want to have our elbows off the floor for this one okay so it's not this position okay it's not this position it's this position like a sort of an in insect now if you can zap your legs together squeeze those legs together and heels together so the feet are slightly fanning out and then from here you're going to keep your feet on the floor, keep your legs active, engage your abdominals. So we're really zipping up. It's like you're holding your toilet muscles. And then as you exhale, you just peel yourself off the floor, length, 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 length. Watching out for tightness in your lower back. Okay, release back to the floor. Now, if it is going into your lower back, what you can do is just lift a tiny bit and get the sense of creating a vacuum okay so the more um, mobile and the stronger you become the, the higher you'll be able to get it but try not to do all this okay you want to keep the form good and then we'll do one more inhale to prepare exhale it's like you've got a marble that you're rolling under your nose rolling it forwards rolling it forwards nice for the shoulders this really nice Keep those legs up together. Now, if you're feeling good here, hover your hands and lift your legs. And you're lifting your thighs, not from your knees. So keep your keep your legs really straight and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Sit back on your heels for a child's pose. A few nice deep breaths here. And then you're coming onto your hands and knees. And we're going to uh, thread the needle. We'll just do a slight variation here. So we're threading the needle and you're going to just nudge your right knee in a couple of inches. And then you're going to, I'll change direction actually so you can see me. So you nudge your right knee in a couple of inches and then with your left arm open out. And then as you exhale, scoop it through, thread the needle. That's one, we'll do three, two, And three, coming back to hands and knees. I'll just wiggle around, you don't need to, okay? And now we're gonna line the knees up and now we bring the left knee forwards a couple of inches. So we're offset, okay? It's just kind of a little teaser for our stability here. And then we open up with the right arm and then thread the needle. So the left knee is forwards and the right arm is moving. Great uh, work, great mobility work here for the mid-back, the thoracic area. <clears throat> Opening out the chest, we'll do one more. It's good for our airways. Really take that nice inhale and release. So we're coming on to, into the prone position again, onto our tummies. So uh, wide hand stance, stay on your knees, or if you prefer something stronger, we're in plank and we take that little ripple through and we're here and I'm just going to take a shuffle to the back okay because I want to have space for my hands here so we've got we're going to have the legs together again now if the legs feel really uncomfortable together have them apart but we try to have the legs together if we, if we can and our arms are like this our hands are like this and you're going to you're just going to press yourself up with your hands okay and we're like this 
okay? Now, if, if this is too much, okay, and the core needs to be on here, your abdominals need to be on, but if it still goes into your lower back, forget that, and you can do this instead. I'm gonna take my glasses off, okay? So you can do this instead, and it will be less uh, taxing for the back, okay? However, if you're all right here, and you're here, you're now gonna lift your legs up, okay? Otherwise, you're like that, okay? You're gonna lift your legs up, and then release. So just have a moment just to kind of assess where you're at with this one, because the last thing we want to do is to aggravate tight and overactive lower back muscles. The lower back tends to overwork, so the muscles become very tight, and then we have got, you know, we get our back problems, etc. So we, the, the brief for this job is that we're not using these muscles, we're trying to find other muscles in the back. Okay, so the, that's where we're at. So you're going to lift up, okay, or not lift up, and then you're going to start to flutter kick the legs, swimming, swimming legs, with straight legs, straight legs, your core is on, five, four, three, two, one, and release, lovely. So now we can make our hand pillow, and then we're gonna bend the knees, and we're just gonna let the legs flop a little bit from side to side, or crisscross, nice floppy movement. And then we're gonna roll over onto our sides, like so. We'll have, we'll have the lower leg bent. Now, if you want to work with a straight lower leg, you can. I won't teach it today, but you'll know who you are if you can do this, okay? And with your uh, head, you can have your head in your hand, or you could have your head like this. Just be careful when you're doing the exercise. You might be looking at your leg, and, and this will put the head uh, out, the neck out of alignment, okay? So if you need a quick peek, fine, but then make sure your neck comes back into alignment the whole spine okay and we're going to lift the top leg and you're pressing into the heel and we bring this leg forwards is hip height con constantly little double pulse point the foot sweep it back feel those bum muscles working flex the foot sweep it forwards pulse pulse point the foot sweep it back forwards keep your trunk super still so this is sort of signature of Pilates where we have our uh, moving part, but everything else is still and strong and very core, very core centric. We'll do one more. Sweeping that leg back. Now your trunk is nice and strong. We're not lolloping, okay? And find that point, it's your the edge of your hip extension. We're not in our lower back. So make sure you're tucking, if anything, if you're starting to feel any problems in your lower back. And then we tap down and then we use our bum muscles to lift up. So we're going into our glute needs here. It's like you've got this sort of draw cord. And that draw cord's coming right to your centre. So we've got our obliques, we've got our glutes. We have not got our lower back and we have not got our hip flexors. They're not overreacting here. Also, have a look at my foot. Try not to sickle your foot, okay? So you want to keep your foot in a straight line with the rest of your leg. And we'll lift it here, and then we're going to pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And then we'll come over to the other side. You can try a little transition. Or not. <laughs> Okay, and then we're over to the other side. So we are lining up our neck. We're there or we're there. And then we're going to lift the top leg and we find this pipeline in the body, straight line, pressing into the heel. And when you press into the heel, the leg will start to naturally, you probably feel it starts to float forwards in any case. So you get a little bit of sort of free energy in effect. And then we pulse, pulse, and then you point and we sweep the leg back. We're not pulsing behind us. For this one because it could end up in your lower back okay so put the brakes on use your bum use your core it's like you're breaking the this um part of the move by using our muscles we, we're really using our muscles this is five we're going to do two more that hip in its socket feels really nice Okay, and then we're like that. That's the last one. 
and we're drawing the hip into the socket. Lots of strength work there. Just be careful if you've got any hip niggles that you might need to make an adjustment. Okay, and we tap down and then we lift up and we're using our glute meds. So we, we want the muscles to be working. We want the muscles to be working. If you're feeling any niggles in the hip, if it just feels plain wrong, you know, stop. It's, you don't want to be in pain. We want to test our stamina and our endurance, but we don't want to be in flat out pain here. So that's a, a signal the body is telling us something. Okay, and we'll do one more like that. And then release and shake it out. This is a good exercise, uh, substitute exercise, the clam. Okay, so you could try the clam if some of the bigger moves aren't quite working for you. So we're going to roll onto our backs. And we're going to have our feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. And as we exhale, we're going to just lengthen our spine. So think of length from your crown to your tail. And as you're lengthening the spine, really gather up, sort of draw in, creating a vacuum. And it's very internal. Inhale, release. And as you exhale and you're creating that vacuum and you're lengthening your spine, it's not a fast, uh, flinchy movement. This is very internal. It's very smooth. It's very um, considered. And you're, you're creating this uh, strength deep within. Okay, It's not like we're clenching and firing everything up. We are just creating this very internal strength and also body awareness. So you could close your eyes and just slow it down and just notice all the lovely stuff that's happening there. And then you can carry on doing this. You get a lot of useful feedback. But if you want to, you just start to peel the tailbone, peeling off vertebra by vertebra, by vertebra, by vertebra, and then roll back down. This is our glute bridge. You're pouring your spine back down on the floor really nicely. And then I'm just going to move my feet slightly. You might find that your body parts aren't quite in the right position. So do feel free to rearrange them when you're on the floor. Try not to do it when you're in mid flight. OK, and then up we go again. So we're coming up into the bridge and up in the bridge. We imagine we have got a clock face on our belly and we're going to in that clock face is a marble and we're going to roll the marble to 12 o'clock, which is your belly button. And then you're going to roll the marble all the way around the circumference of that clock face. And you get this little rolling action, a hula hoop action, change direction. And this way, we're really testing our stability. It's that we feel a bit like um, the spine is uh, suspended. We're using our feet, our shoulders, our glutes, our core, all in equilibrium. And then we come back. And then we're going to roll down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. And then float your arms over your head. Have a nice stretch there. And then you can come up into the bridge again. So we're getting a good stretch for the top body, the front side of the body. And if you want a bit more, come onto the balls of your feet. And then when you roll down, keep your feet where they are and your arms where they are and just roll back down. You can press your arms into the floor a little bit more oomph. And then tuck your knees into your chest. And then bring your legs up into the air like so. Now I've got quite tight hamstrings, you can see, because my legs aren't going dead straight. So if you're, try not to force your legs to go straight because it would possibly come at the cost of like going into your neck or something's gonna go a little bit awry. So if you're tight, bend your knees, okay? And you can bend them quite generously as well. You know, it's the trunk that we want to prioritize here. And we're going to circle the legs. So we're gonna lower and then we're going to separate and then we're going to bring the legs back. And when they come back to join, get this sense of a slight lift through the pelt, through the tail. OK, and, and the lift is uh, it might not be discernible to the human eye. It's a sensation. It's sensational. We want to avoid this. 
with one or avoid the speed bumps. Okay, we'll do one more this way. You can create a wedge to place your pelvis in, but you get that little sense of lift at the top of the move. Okay, and now we're going to change direction. I might have been doing it. Yeah, change direction. One way it might feel harder than the other, and the size of the circles will make a difference as well. And we're going to do one more. Hold it and then release. Good. So place your left foot on the floor and we're going to stretch out the right hamstring. So first of all, we'll not use our arms. We'll just see how far we can go with our own strength. OK, and this is our active range of motion, what we can support with our own strength. And then you can use your hand, not the knee, but a car for um, thigh and just use your hand just to give yourself a little assist. OK, and this is the passive range of motion. So there's a margin between what we can support with our own strength and then what we can achieve when we have got the assistance of uh, another body part or an external object. Okay, You don't want the margin to be too much. If the margin's a lot, it's, unst it's destabilising. Okay, We want a little bit of a margin, a little bit of room to give. Okay, other side. So we're going for our active range of motion. This side might feel very different. Especially if you've just been doing some activity, you probably notice there's a big difference. Okay, and then we just give ourselves a little bit of an extra stretch here. Let those muscles relax. You can always come out of the stretch and then go back into it again. Okay, so if it feels too tense and you're and, and the body's starting to grip up, then release and come back into it. Okay, and then we'll bring both arms, both legs in the air, and we're just going to circle the ankles and the wrists. Change direction. Tuck your knees in and either roll onto your side or roll like a ball into a sitting position. And we'll have the soles of the feet together. And you can just, if you can, grab hold of your feet. If not, just go where you can. And then we're going to hinge forwards from the hips and you can use your elbows just to open out the thighs a little bit, inner thighs, but press your inner thighs back on your elbows. So we're working some muscles here and then hinge forwards. And then just lengthen out your left leg and place your right hand on the floor and we'll come up for a stretch. You don't have to lift off, by the way, you can stay on the floor. OK, any lift off if your hands are happy about it. Maybe swish and swirl the arm around a little bit. And then come back. We'll swap it over. Inhale, exhale, either just have a stretch or you can come up for the lift and swish and swirl the arms around. If, if it feels good, you know, if it doesn't, then don't. And then release. So your body will can tell you a lot more about yourself than I can. OK, and then just bring that leg back again. We'll cross the legs now. OK, so we're crossing the legs and we, we have most likely defaulted to our uh, normal way of doing things. And we're going to swap it over. OK, so just mix it up a little bit. And then you're going to place your hands on your knees. And as you inhale, pull yourself through. We're lengthening our front spine. And as you exhale, scoop back. We're doing a sitting cat-cow. Inhale. Exhale, let's do one more. And then we're sitting nice and tall. Have your chin to your chest and then just start to roll the head either all the way round or if that feels a bit icky, just roll the head from side to side. And if you're going all the way round, do one or two in one direction and then change direction. Try not to let your shoulders pop. Okay, and then we're nice and tall. Shrug and release the shoulders. Shrug, release, shrug, release. Spread your wings. Present your sternum to the ceiling and then put your palms together. Well done. Namaste. Good. Thanks, everyone. So that was a pretty classic set of Pilates moves there. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we did a bit of everything. We worked the body through all planes of motion, um, stiff backs, good for that, uh, good for the legs, and good for the core, of course. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon. Bye.